done just my hands uh welcome back to a brand new video if you're new here then hi hello welcome come on in grab a snack because i reckon this might be a long one today i'm going to be going through all my makeup collection again and decluttering it because it's just stuff that since the last declutter i just have not used there might be some stuff that's old and finished we've got a lot of bits so in my makeup collection we have this drawer which is skincare primers then we have Brows, mascara, lashes, lips. I reckon lips is going to be a massive one. Palette's right at the bottom. Please excuse the state of this room. This room's getting a whole declutter and clean, so just ignore that. Bronzers, blushes, highlights, foundations, and then concealers, cream contours, and setting powders. So we need to go through everything, but I thought I'd start with this drawer because this drawer's the most chaotic in my mind, and also the camera's already there. So let's just dig in and not ramble too, too much. I'm just going to start with just have like cotton pads and sticks just everywhere. It's like a little thing. So I'm going to declutter this sun-kissed facial tanning mist. I really enjoy the actual fake tan of it, like the bottle, but this one just, uh, it's not cute at all. Like it's not great. I don't love it, um, but I love the actual fake tan. Then I have these two from U Tan and Tone, which I basically finished. So I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of both of those. I'll just make another order on Super Drug tonight because I really enjoy those. But they are finished. Then I have this Super Drug Vitamin E skincare. I'm gonna key. Um, everything's not where it should be, so I'm gonna tidy as I go. This E, not Eve Lam, Dr. Eve Ruth. I'm gonna keep, and my Brazilian bum cream. I'm gonna keep. Um, the Vaseline, I'm gonna keep more oil, and then my my cellar water. That's literally my skincare. I don't do a lot of skincare. Um, I just feel like you don't need to overcomplicate skincare sometimes. Like, if it works for you, it works for you. Then I have some things that are for facial, so I'm just gonna put those to a side for now. Um, some of these e-sticks got. Um, stained so right i'm gonna get rid of these two open ones by the way i'm trained in doing this do not just do this just to do it okay i see so many people on youtube that just do it completely wrong and it makes my skin curl inside it needs to go as well i've got one of those anyway i have some eye drops um i think these are going to be out of date now oh no i've still got a few a bit left perfect some piercing lotion, castor oil, tea tree. I'm going to move into the bathroom. And then I have this facial mist, which is really good as well. So I will be keeping all those. I think that's everything back there. This is also where I keep my makeup bags um, for like travel and stuff like that. This little pot, I literally never go in it. I'm going to keep that and that. That goes there. That goes there. Like I said, some of those Q-tips are stained. So I'm just going to put them there for now. And then I'm just going to buy a new packet. So just don't judge me, okay? I'll keep that lip balm. What flavour of you? I'll keep you. And then... I th think... Oh, I knew I had That's very old. I think I'm just going to get rid of... All of those... Because I just never ever go in here. And that's my eye cream. Which very now and then I use that eye cream. Lip balm, lip balm. That's for when I get like little rashes. And then lip balm again. Yeah. Oh, no. Right, perfect. Those are all bubbles. And these are primer stuff. Which I'm just going to pop there. So I know to use them. Those are bubbles and those are clips, so I'm literally just going to keep all those because you can just never, ever, ever have too many. So, all done. Now let's move on to makeup. Um, let's just, oh, I don't even know what to do. Right, I'm going to declutter this. Had it forever and ever and ever. The spray on it is awful, doesn't work, so I just don't need to keep it, do I? I'm not really, I don't really know the difference between these. And they don't do too much. I prefer the uh, B6. I'm going to keep these two just for like backups. The Morphe one I'm just going to get rid of. I just never really reach for it. Like I use those three every day. Well, I usually use the B6 and then this. The Evian's good for when I don't have any makeup just to refresh my skin. And then that's the one that I spray on my brushes. So I'm really going to keep 
the ones that I actually use. Right, and then this L'Oreal primer, I'm just gonna get rid of. I just never ever reach for it or use it. Just put some of those cotton pads in there. This I love, I'm gonna keep. My straw body I love, I'm gonna keep. I don't know if I need to bin a lot of these. Oh, Fasale can go. I don't even know if that brand still exists. No shade if it does. I just, I'm so out of touch with the makeup game, I swear. <laughs> backlight priming filter I'm gonna keep, I think. That one, the backlight priming filter I'm gonna get rid of, sorry, that's the primer. And then this one is just the shimmering skin. Yeah, I've got a backup of the bat like, so I'm just going to put that into rotation instead. Those two I'm going to keep because I really like them. That's my favourite. Uh, pore, um, what's that word? Pore primer. I think it's amazing. That Dr. Brandt, the Dr. Brandt I've had forever, I'm going to get rid of that. That Makeup Forever one I have had forever, but I really just like it. I feel like it doesn't exist anymore. The Sephora Glow, I feel like it's just like the bitty one. Um, I'm just going to get rid of I just never ever use. Love that Buxom one. Love this one. It's been discontinued and it's years old, but I'm going to keep it because I just really love it. Um, this Nip and Fab one. Um, I'm just going to get rid of because I, I prefer these way more. The Neoid Photographic Photography Fluid. I always get that name wrong so bad. I don't know why. Um, I'm just really bad with that name. <laughs> I love the Lumi Lotion. I think I got that from America. Oh, and then there's this Makeup Revolution um, Beam Dream, which I don't think I've really ever used, but that looks really nice and glowy. It looks quite like strobe cream, actually, um, but it's quite pinkish. So I'm just gonna depart with that. I don't really like pink. Ambient lighting is staying. Oil stick is staying from MAC. MAC Time Lotion is staying. Mini Ola Henriksen is staying. Uh, this superfood from Elemis I haven't really used. It says it's a glowing, glowing primer and moisturiser, so I'm gonna keep it just to try it out a bit more. Origins I'll keep. That I said I'll keep. That I do use, which I like. Those two from Nars are just nice to kind of have. Um, I've got a couple of putty ones which I do like. I'm just gonna keep them because I do quite like those. This Natasha Denona one. I just didn't understand what it was, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then this Urban Decay Drop Shot. I don't even know if there's anything. Oh, yeah, that's full. Right, we'll try that and just see how we go. So, yeah, that's all the stuff I'm going to keep. I'm just going to lie these squeezy tubes down. I may actually... Let me go and get some organisers. Hang on. I don't know if these will fit. Yes, I have been desperate to use this for something, so... I'm going to pop all of my primers in here. Put all my tubes in the front. Let's get plenty of up there. Let's just see. Right, let me find the other one. Where is the other one? I did have like a square version of one of those as well. So I don't know where I've put it. So I just need to be on the lookout for that if I find it in my collection and I want to use it somewhere else so what I'm going to do is pop those like that just roll with me here I know it doesn't look cute okay and then my little putty ones can just go there stunning gorgeous oh my god I've literally had this shoe box forever what did I buy neon yellow I have not used I've sold these shoes that these came in so now my little priming sheet thing that I need to trial out so now this can just be everything oh my gosh draw one and look how done well done i'm so proud of us way to go so yeah that's what this drawer now looks like just need to there we go squeeze those in so yeah that's what this looks like it's a lot easier now i kind of just rummage through those because that box was just it was a good size for when I had more makeup but now since I've de de uh, since I've downsized and decluttered it was just too much and things were just getting lost but no I like this it's a it's a lot better right let's move on to foundations okay so if you're new here you might not be aware but foundation is my absolute favorite part of makeup and 
it may not look like it but this collection is very small in comparison to my others also please just ignore how dirty they are i recently went to london and took quite a bit of makeup and i had one of these but like a sally hansen version and it exploded everywhere so i haven't got around to cleaning it that's what i'm going to kind of be doing when i go through all my makeup collection and my, this room it's just cleaning everything deep cleaning decluttering xyz so just don't judge that also in here we do have my backup drawer so like i said i have a backup of the becca backlight priming filter and the straw cream by math but because i have so much to work through already in my primers i'm just not going to add it in yet but yeah this is also my little backup area <laughs> and kind of like a little mini shop which yeah right so i'm going to get rid of this garnier um ambery soul natural bronzer because i have well i used to have the sally hansen version i've just ordered another one um and i prefer that a lot more to this the road dial skin tint i really like it's such a beautiful beautiful tinted moisturizer along with the la, the, the la roche pose the barley creams are beautiful this is my favorite 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 foundation tinted moisturizer anything to put on the skin ever it's from sephora but they discontinued it hate them for that and then this book someone i never ever really i never opt for it let's just see what it's like also my fate hand is absolutely hilarious so no judgments okie dokie okie dokie um i may just i may the next time i wear wear makeup i will try and wear that and then see how i feel and then if i don't enjoy it i will get rid of it i have the ordinary foundation which is separated and i never ever opt for it i'm gonna get rid of it it is a beautiful foundation i just literally never ever ever wear it this is the water blend from makeup forever again i just never should i zoom you in a bit more i just never ever 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 wear it so i'm just gonna get rid of it but it is beautiful it's urban decay or nighter i never wear it again but it is a good foundation to have but i never up for it because it's super coverage i'm gonna get rid of it i'm just gonna get rid of it oh my god i feel like i've just got rid of so many of my children already Giorgio Armani, Giorgio Armani luminous silk i'm gonna get rid of i've mentioned this before Oh my gosh, when I mentioned this before, before it got like super duper trendy on like Instagram and everything and everyone loved it. They had a different formula, I'm convinced, and I used it and I fell in love with it. And then they brought out a new formula and I don't like it. It burns my skin, it smells, I'm not a big fan. This Becca one is beautiful. Tom Ford Tracer's foundation, I never wear, um, but I'm going to try and wear it to justify the price tag that I spent on that. The Fenty, I don't love it. I'll be honest with you guys. I only wear it when I mix it with the Too Faced one. Um, but it's such like a full bottle. I'm just going to try and keep it. Too Faced is finished. I'm going to repurchase it. I'm going to shade Sand. I just need a new one. Because um, that's one of my favourite foundations. It's so beautiful. These are two stick foundations that I have from Makeup Forever. Which I've had forever and ever. And they also I have a backup of them. So I'm going to get rid of those. Because I just don't need that on my skin. This Josie Marin one is beautiful. Charlotte Tilbury one, I just didn't understand. I don't really love it. I don't... There's not a lot of Charlotte Tilbury makeup that I really like, if I'm honest. Um, and this is another one that I was just like... Like, okay, I don't know. But it's so expensive, so I'm not going to get rid of it for that. Uh, the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape Matte Foundation I want to get rid of. I don't love matte and I just don't need it. The Rainforest of the Sea, however, from Tarte, I'm going to keep. I love that. I need to buy a new one. Um, this Makeup Forever Ultra HD is beautiful. I'm going to keep that one. I have, oh my gosh. I have these little mini ones from Armani, which I'm just going to get rid of. I got them when I worked at um, Selfridges and they just used to give out free things. I'm keeping, I'm keeping less than I'm getting rid of. I'm getting rid of more. This is too much. I feel sick. I feel sick. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm going to get, I'm going to keep every single one of these. Maybelline um, Superstay is one of my favourites. This NARS one is nearly finished. I think I've got one use left, but then I've got a backup in a different shade. I didn't love this foundation. I'm definitely more of a sheer glow girl. Um, but I brought a different shade in this to see if maybe I love it a bit more. Um, sheer glow, the NARS Tint Moisturiser is one of my favourite tint moisturisers. It's I prefer the Sephora one more, but because that's discontinued, this one's now my favourite. Um... 
And then I have the Maybelline Matte and Poreless and Dewy and Smooth. This MAC one, the waterproof one, I might get rid of because I should never ever use it. It's the Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof. It is gorgeous, but I should never ever wear it. And then my MAC Fix Pluses as well. So that's what I'm keeping, which makes me feel really sick. I actually feel really unwell inside. I don't know why I'm doing Oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm doing this declutter. <gasps> Look at all that space. No, my foundations only take up three rows. Oh my God. I need to buy that Too Faced one ASAP. I feel a little bit poorly inside. I got rid of one, two, three. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got rid of twelve. Well, technically one's finished, and I'm gonna repurchase it. But still there, still very good, isn't it? Eh, I feel sick. I feel very sick. Okay, so next up, I have concealers, cream contours, more cream contours, body shimmery, tanny things, and then my setting powders. I won't lie to you guys. I don't think that this will be as good as. The foundation and the primer bit because I do kind of use most of this. I know that looks really excessive, like how could you possibly? But I do actually use quite a lot of it. Um, and when I did the declutters, I was very, very thorough with myself and I knew what I was getting rid of. Um, the only thing in the cream contours I'm going to get rid of is this Sephora Highlight Low Light Duo in Tan. I have had this forever, but it is, it was my favourite cream contour ever. Um, but it, it will be, oh, it's not even dried up. <gasps> uh, oh, should I keep it? Oh no, there's no point. I'm not going to use it. But it was just so good. And they discontinued it and my life was ruined basically. So I'm going to get rid of that. Everything else to stay in these were like back up things. Um... Yeah, I pretty much, well, not I pretty much, I do use all of that, so that's all staying. This Makeup Forever Flash Palette I never use, but I keep it purely for the price, but I think it's time to finally get rid of it. That makes me really sad as well, because uh, I just feel like when I do these declutters, like, it's just like an end of an era. I don't know. Right, these are all staying, these Too Faced ones. I love these. I'm just going to put them over there for now. So are my MAC ones and that. This Marc Jacobs one can go because I've had it forever and ever and ever and ever. And then these I use often, to be fair. NC30, NC25. I'm going to keep both of those. Becca ones at the front. The Kevin Aquan one I'm going to get rid of. Again, I've had it forever. Oh, the Nars one, I just don't love, you guys. I hate pot concealers so much. I know I say that. These are for, like, carving brows. But I'm just going to get it just... I'm going to keep it just purely because it fits. <laughs> oh, I'm the worst human in the world. The shade is lighter. I've got nude and warm beige. Nude is lighter, well, so I'll reach for that more. And then my little long wears can sit there and then he can go there so not bad not bad these concealers again i'm gonna really struggle with these because oh, i do use them that one i don't that's the cover effects one i got this from like a beauty outlet so i'm just gonna get rid of that um these collection ones are i repurchased them so they can stay these milk ones i've had forever do they smell Mm. they smell okay-ish medium and light I'm going to keep them for now and just see um, the Rimmel Rake Me Up I really like the Fenty one I don't really I don't I don't really care about so I'm just going to get rid of I know it kind of sounds like I hate on Fenty but I don't know I just I wasn't like in love with the products that some, like some other people were I just kind of thought that they were like oh okay no worries do you know what I mean but that might sound a bit shady, huh? Um, and then I have these NYX Can't Stuff, Won't Stuff. But I don't, and this HD one, but I don't really ever opt for them. So I'm going to, I just, you know, my thing is, is like, no one. Okay, I'll keep the Can't Stuff, Won't Stuff and I'll get rid of the HD one. I feel like if I don't keep this, no one will have it. So I may as well keep them. I do really enjoy these, make, these Maybelline ones. I've got enough space, so I'm just going to separate them all out. And that Maybelline. Um, and then I've got another one. But they're in two different shades. So I'm going to keep them both. And this Technique one, which I never reached for, so I'll get rid of that. These two from Laura Mercier, I really like. 
My NARS ones, I don't think I've finished any, so I will keep them. Yeah, I recently finished one and then I just used the backup. I have, I have a lot of backups, I'm well aware. And then again with this one, I don't think that there's going to be any that I get rid of. I've got all my ALF ones, the Urban Decay. I'll get rid of the Urban Decay Naked Skin. And no, those came out of the package recently. The Shishado Perfection Stick Concealer. I remember this. I freaking loved this. But I, I won't use it. I know I won't. But if I don't use it, if I don't keep it, who, will, who the hell will take it? So it's just going to go to waste. But no, I need to get rid of it. I've had that for actually years. That's quite disgusting. So more of the ones that I really like the look of. The Bare Skin from Bare Minerals is gorgeous. And the LA Colors. LA Girl, sorry. It's really nice as well. And then in here, I think I'm just going to get rid of my Makeup Revolution Peach Powder. I don't really ever opt for it. Um, and I've got this Technique one, which I'm going to get rid of as well. It was quite nice, but like I prefer my others and I always reach for my others over that instead. I'm going to get space to put the makeup I don't want anymore. My back one I love, the white side one I love. The Marc Jacob one is, it's okay. I had to cut the thing. I'll keep that. This fit me. Oh my God, I really love this. And I forgot how much I loved it and I used it recently. And I was like, oh, I miss you. When I go back to America, I'm going to have to repurchase that. And I love this. This is now my favourite powder of all time. Beautiful powder. Love all those. Love, 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 love. Everything else. This will be the only one that I'd consider getting rid of. But the amount of memories that I have with that, I won't even go near it to get rid of it. Um, I'm going to keep all of my bronzing thingies because I use these in rotation constantly. Um, keep them there. Is this still good? Yeah, right, keep that. Again, I don't really think that this is gonna be too good. Oh, this is a Weaver one I'll get rid of. I've like never ever opted for it, so hey ho. Um, let's call this like a refresh video as, a, as opposed to a declutter, okay? Two of the Chanel's because they come out with different shades. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's everything. Um, so I got rid of three. Six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I got rid of thirteen things, which, if I'm honest, is like thirteen more than I thought I was. So I'm very happy with that. It's getting so big and overflowing. So, like I said, I don't know if there's going to be much that I get rid of in here, but we'll just we'll just try. I don't really know how the best way to do this is. Right, all up here I know I'm keeping. So I've got the NARS. Is it Fort de la France? Fort de France? I'm going to keep. Anastasia Beverly Hills. At times I'm Reezy. I'm going to keep. All my Beckers I'm going to keep. My Mac I'm going to keep. The Mac Patrick Star. I'm going to keep that. Do I ever really... I mean, I'm wearing my pyjamas as well, by the way. Who cares? Am I going to keep that? No, I'll get rid of that. I'm going to put them in this little bowl. This Dior one is beautiful, but I literally just never, ever, ever reach for it. So I'm going to get rid of that. That is in the shade 002 Glowing Nude. Um, the Fenty one. <laughs> I have to keep this, don't I? Don't I? Otherwise it looks shady. This Technique Quad is beautiful, but it's so intense. So I'm going to get rid of that. This Morphe one, I completely forgot I had. I'm going to keep this in addiction from laura mercier is gorgeous this burberry one i think i have to get rid of as well do i yeah that's in the shade 02 nude gold no i'm gonna keep that actually i think it was a bit more pinkier than it is um i kind of look like the look of that Ooh. gosh i'm allowed to gear it on i right Ilamasca, i'm gonna keep my two authors i'm gonna keep they're such good intense highlighters um my door beauty ones i'm gonna keep my anastasia so hollywood i'm gonna keep you guys are gonna know how long i've had all this but i don't care the makeup is good oh this sephora one i'm oh, i always say i'm gonna get rid of but then i use it and i'm just like no it's gorgeous yeah no it's gorgeous 
Makeup Forever, I'm gonna keep. Who are you? Oh, Jennifer Lopez, Ingwer. I'm gonna keep you. Urban Decay Sin, I think it's time to finally get rid of this. I've had that for ever and a day. Um, oh, I've got a little liquid one, which I'll go over with the liquids. This Sephora one is really nice. It looks like I haven't used it, but I promise I have. Pico Eyeshadow, another Becca, Gilded Honey, Artiste, right there, all staying. And then back here, I've got a little MAC palette, and then these two sleek ones, which, again, these are super intense. I'm going to get rid of that one, and then keep that one. So not bad, we got rid of five, which, like I said, when I decluttered all these, like, I feel like I was left with a really good collection that I love, so that's why it's going to be a little bit more tricky and a little bit more difficult. Um, liquids, let me do, this, do, do these pal uh, palettes. I never, ever, ever reach for these, but I love them. I'm going to keep them. Am I going to keep the glow kit? Am I? Yeah. Okay. So, Marc Jacobs one I'm going to keep. This one from Nip and Fab I'm going to get rid of. It's more of like a higher... Oh, no. Is it? Is it more goldy? Well, I never opt for it anyway, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Oh, I'm terrible at this game. Oh, this I've had forever, but I just have so many memories with it. But if I even put this even near my skin, I would have a reaction. So I'm going to finally get rid of that. If you guys have been here forever, I bet you're very surprised. Um, Illamasqua Gleam, I'm going to keep. Manaz Hot Sands. I don't know. That I use often. That Nip and Fab one has definitely seen better days, hasn't it? but it is gorgeous. Right, I'm gonna keep that. I feel like I don't need all of these three. But maybe I do. Ah! <laughs> I'm doing bad, I know. But honestly, I just, I worked hard when I did that. If you wanna see like a proper ruthless declutter, oh my gosh, watch the final declutter series. I will leave it linked down below. I went ham. I got rid of about, two thirds of my makeup collection. So definitely watch that if you prefer a ruthless one. Like I said, I think this is gonna be more of like a refresh. So we're now on seven things we've decluttered. I'm just gonna put that there. Blushes. I think I'm gonna keep them all because, am I? No, I might get rid of this two-faced one if I can get it out. I'm gonna get rid of this two-faced one because I should never ever wear it. It is beautiful, but I just, I never wear it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna take this out the packaging and have a look. Ooh, I like the packaging, that's quite cute. It's just quite simple, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna keep that just for like a little difference. Cream blush. And then all my others I will keep. Oh, I'm dreading this. I love bronzer. I don't even know if I'm gonna get rid of any bronzers. Hi. Why do I do this to myself? Oh wait, no. This one I'm gonna get rid of because I'd never ever wear it. It's the NYX one in the shade tan. Look how bloody dark that is. Very, very rarely wore that. Um, my Mac one's staying, that Mac one's staying, my phys physician's formula staying. Ah, oh, this Urban Decay one can go because I never ever reach for it and I've had it forever. It was, well, I say it was, it is really, really, really gorgeous, but I never reach for it. This Too Faced one in dark chocolate, I should get, ooh, is really pretty. I need a new shade. Wait, so what? Oh, yeah, give me some. So that's a shimmer. And then keep, what are you? Laguna. I always forget I've got a Laguna. I never ever come to Keep. Keep. Oh, my Javon. Oh, this is it. I didn't even remember I had that. I'm going to get rid of that because I don't know how old that... Well, I know how old it is, but I never ever reach for it. Um, and someone else can enjoy it. Which makes me sad, but I hope they do enjoy it. And then I've got some Givenchy ones, which I never really reach for, but they are so pretty. And I really don't want to not have something bougie in my collection. I am that person I will happily admit. Sometimes I watch people's declutters and like they'll be like, keep, keep. And like it'll be like 
crappy products and then in my head i'm like just admit it's because it's high end and you like it like i will happily admit i've spent a small fortune on, on, a, on an item and i will keep it like the tom ford foundation i spent a fortune on that i'm gonna keep it because of that i don't love it i don't think it's the best foundation in the world whatsoever but i'm gonna i'm gonna wear it um go to place about mac i'm gonna keep this other one from mac i'm gonna get rid of it's called glow with it i got it for free again when i worked it's gorgeous it's like a shimmer like on top but i just never ever reached for it this becca one in the shade topaz this is one of the um highlighters it's gorgeous as well i'm still so sad about becca oh the sharon osborne collection with mac is beautiful i love that so those are all shimmery shoes so they can all just stay and then the bigger ones that i had my Tom Ford ones, which again spent a small, I spent a fortune on them. They're not going anywhere. I don't care if I never ever use them again. They're not going anywhere. So beautiful. The Marc Jacobs Tantric. Yeah. Oh, such a stunning bronzer. If you do want to splurge on a bronzer, try. Oh, does Marc Jacobs Beauty even exist anymore? See, that's how out of the loop with makeup I am. I don't think it exists anymore, does it? Oh well. Never mind, you know what I just said. <laughs> um, this glam bronzer from Morphe, I'm gonna keep. Nope, I don't really ever use it, but hey ho. And then I have two from NARS. This is Laguna Tiri bronzer, which I'm gonna get rid of. I don't really ever opt for Laguna. Wait, no, this one had a bit more of like a shimmeriness to it. No, I'm just gonna get rid of it. And then this other one that my friend got me quite a while ago. I will keep. I can't get rid of things that people get me. I'm, I get, give me. I'm so sorry. Like I just can't. Which explains the benefit things at the back. Um, two of my friends got me those, and I won't get rid of them. This doesn't have a lid because it's again something that I got free at Selfridges um, when I worked there. So it doesn't have a lid, but I'm keeping it anyway. Um, what I'm going to do is just split this video into two. So the next ones are going to be eyes and lips. But that is it for round one of a refresh. Let me count the make I've got rid of. 13 products, which in this drawer I'm very proud of because I really did not think I was going to get rid of anything. And I will show you the overflowing amount we have gotten rid of. Plus that NARS palette, which has just fallen out. This is everything we're getting rid of. I'm very, very happy. So even though some drawers weren't as, as successful as the others, others were. So, yeah. Stay tuned for the next one. It will be up ASAP. <laughs> you can watch some TV, watch some Netflix if you want. You, you can come on over if you want to.